closer and closer with that right. Lands it to the shoulder. If in my book, should box this guy and win the title. I think he's doing a slow burn. I think Purnell is a little bit angry about the low blows, the holding behind the head, the reputation Pineda has for being a heavy puncher, and he wants to do some damage against him to get some inner satisfaction. I also think that Whitaker feels he can handle Pineda's punch. He's been hit a couple of times in the last few rounds. He hasn't hurt him, and so I think he's gained a little confidence, and that's why he's coming at him. You think that, but then all of a sudden, those big power hands, they start to take hold to your knees, and it just doesn't feel good. Your power and starts Rennell, to evaporate. Yeah, Brunel ducks away from that right hand and looks from underneath his shoulder as if to say, I'm not sure I wanted to give you that chance. Woodick has turned this fight into the fight Pineda would like. Great right hand by Pineda. But if Whitaker fights this way and goes on to win the fight, then as Larry suggested would be the case, he comes out bigger and better than ever. Bigger and better. Oh, good solid left hand by Purnell. And the first fighter to be wobbled is not Whitaker, but Pineda. And there's the right hand by Pineda, and Whitaker steps back. He's the second guy to be wobbled. They are trading punches now. Whitaker with the left uppercut right on the butt. Benita got that heavy right hand in, and Brunel has felt the full fury now. The thing to worry is Benita's left eye is giving him a little bit of problem. When you're fighting a quick guy like that, you need every eyesight you can get, every bit of eyesight. This is one of the most entertaining rounds of Brunel Whitaker's recent boxing career. M much better, much better. That's the way to throw punches. Very good. Gotta hit him. He's afraid of you, champ. He's afraid of you. Throw punches. All right, here's Whitaker throwing that straight left hand that drives the champion backwards. I think if, I think if Kyle Whitaker wanted to turn to law enforcement, he would be on the bomb diffusing squad. You think he's going to diffuse Pineda's bombs here tonight? Well, so far he has, but normally... Normally a puncher comes on in the second half of a fight as the boxer sometimes tires. So far, Lou Duva and George Benton seem entirely pleased with the fight that Brunel Whitaker is fighting. But there has been a subtle, although perceptible change in the past couple of rounds. As Brunel Whitaker has stepped up maybe a couple of inches closer and traded punches much more with Rafael Pineda than has been the case in any of his recent bouts. Pineda Corner told him something was wrong, that Whitaker is afraid of him. No way. Yeah, I think that's right, George. I don't think Brunel's a bit afraid of him. Of anyone. Said he looked Holyfield in the face and told him early on, I'm not scared of you. Well, you know it. I mean, Brunel is just a tough guy with a remarkable streak of self-confidence and the mean streak, too, in the ring. And he saw it right there as he whipped that left hand into Pineda's face. Pineda's starting to take a page out of the George Benton book of training, punching to the shoulders and the elbows, trying to wear Brunel Whitaker down. That's what happens when you're a one-punch knockout artist. You have a tendency to wait around too long and lose fights. All right, now this will cost a point. One point. There it is. Joker 
Cortez taking the point away from Rafael Pineda all around the ring from all three judges. And now Cornell Whitaker right. gets his chance right. to recover. You ready to continue? Yeah. All right. I think Time Whitaker in. would rather not have we'll been hit and, and let Pineda keep that point. <laughs> The other referee says he was hit, but it didn't hurt him down there. Believe me, down there aren't any muscles. Yeah, how can you be hit there without it hurting? It has Look to at hurt. the body shots by Pineda. He did not go to the body much again. Oh, what a left hand by Whitaker. I was just getting ready to say, Pineda didn't go to the body much against Roger Mayweather. He didn't get hit like that against Roger Mayweather either. Pineda was rocked go, back go, on his go, heels go, by Whitaker's left go, hand. Whitaker's, Whitaker's from that old school of, I can't give this guy any false courage. If he hurts me, I've got to pay him back. Well, if this keeps up, Brunel is going to win a lot of new fans for his courage and his punching prowess. Another good straight left. Crowd really warming to Whitaker now. Hi. It's always been like watching a clinic before. Tonight, Whitaker wants to send Pineda to a clinic. You get a rinse, he gets a rinse. I know, understand? I know, but, but he only, only put it on the stop when you hurt. Yeah, I want really. to watch that. Watch that. The other guy gets a rest just like you. Gonna, gonna, All right, gonna, Peter. Gonna, All right, 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 right. Just keep doing just what you're doing. You understand it? Okay. Let's take a look at a little blow that cost Pineda a point. And Pernell Whitaker certainly got the point, and here he retaliates with a straight left. High on the brow. All right, seconds out. We're getting a glimpse of just how tough Cornell Whitaker is against the real champion. And he's tough. There's, there's some steel in that read. <laughs> Through round six, halfway through the scheduled 12. Whitaker has thrown 405 punches, according to punch stat. Landed 166 of them. That's a 41% connect rate. High and good for Brunel Whitaker. Pineda, 300 punches. Busy for him, 50 punches around. Only landed 97 of them for 32%, but with his power, he'll settle for that. Both fighters have plenty to be happy about so far, but it is Whitaker who is leading. Puncher's position of having to try to come from behind in the second half of the bout to retain his championship. I don't think Pineda was worried about losing that point, Jim and George, because he knows he's not going to win this fight on points anyway. He's going to have to stop Whitaker. Remember, he lost the first seven rounds on our cards to Roger Mayweather before he knocked Mayweather out. some punching power inside. Yeah, but it could cost him because it's only seven rounds. That punching power that you're throwing away now, you may want it a little later on just for stamina. Particularly when a fighter has a, uh, a tendency, as Whitaker does sometimes, George, to admire his work. That's right, he starts looking, and the next thing you know, his corner's going crazy. They trade punches in the middle of the ring. Whitaker takes two or three to the body while doling out three or four to the head of Pineda. Pineda may better realize that Whitaker's had some knockouts in his career also. One wrong move and he can be getting off, off the canvas. Has not had a knockout at 140 pounds, this weight class, in a significant bout. He fought a warm-up down in Mexico City, but that was really almost just for show. Brunel weighed 148 pounds, they say, in that bout down in Mexico City. Pineda driving Whitaker into the ropes with right hands. 
Riddell moving to his left now. He drops his hands and starts to get cute with Pineda. Pineda is no cutie. He's on, he understands his chance of one good shot. Faced with the strongest fighter he's ever fought, Whitaker has raised the level of his already very high game. For your family, do it for your family. Come on. They're not going to give you a decision. You got to knock him out. The business is to land punches. 